Welcome to the second episode of News with Bob. Bob is in the house, along with the girls. Uh, today <laughs> uh, we have a lot to talk about, and uh, you have read the title right. We need grading system in reaction videos. Now, what does it mean? Um, if you know, uh, if you have seen uh, other reaction uh, channel, music reaction channels, um, they usually don't provide uh, a grading, uh, meaning like, oh, I think this song is uh, five out of ten, or like maybe three out of five, for some reason, uh, some something like that. Uh, they don't express their feeling in terms of uh, math, in terms of grades. Uh, me, me as well, right? I, uh, have not been doing this, but uh, there are a lot of um, uh, channels like um, Anthony Fantano or ARTV music reviews, uh, which um, do uh, post this uh, grades uh, at the end of the video, like they uh, state their um, grading, uh, what they think about it, like hmm, I would give it a seven out of ten. Like usually. People are like waiting for those, uh, you know, grades. Like, hmm, what's he gonna give it this time? Would he, uh, for example, for my favorite artist, like I'm, uh, my uh, favorite artist, for example, let's say Eminem, uh, he dropped a new uh, video. Uh, what Anthony Fantana gonna give uh, to Eminem this time? Like you, like press and you just like check the description box immediately. What, what's the grading? And it's like, uh, let's say 3 out of 10, I'm like, oh shit, no. <laughs> or like, uh, if it's like 8 out of 10, I'm like, oh damn, you're happy. So basically, um, it's just like making the music life more interesting. Uh, and like in reaction videos, for example, when I dance, when I jam, uh, like I usually do it to a lot of songs and uh, to songs, uh, the songs that I don't really care about. No, they usually are not recorded. Like the, uh, I don't record my reaction videos to them, and like just don't see it. Uh, but I thought like maybe uh, we should uh, record uh, those reactions as well, and we also should put uh, the grading uh, in those uh, videos where I like dance a lot and stuff like that. Like. Uh, I dance in a lot of my videos and it's intangible what I really feel about the song. Like I, of course, like uh, you can see where I'm like most hype about the song or maybe not that really hyped about the song. Uh, at the end I'm expressing my opinion on the song but or an album. But like, uh, what does it mean in terms of grading? Like what do you actually feel? Like the grading uh, actually exposes your real feeling about the song. Um, so like, uh, is it the 10 out of 10, is it like the best song you've ever heard, or like, is it uh, not really, like maybe 5 or 6 or even less, who knows, like, so, um, yeah, grading system is open in Music with Bob channel. Uh, from now on, every video uh, you will see in this channel will have a grading and uh, you guys will let me know your own, uh, you know, great mark uh, what uh, number uh, you think it is for example uh, like Tyler the Creator dropped the song or Rihanna dropped the song uh, like for example I'll give it a 7 out of 10 you in the comments uh, you state uh, what did you thought about the song uh, how is it for you uh, because the music is subjective it's just our own feelings or, or like taste right I would Maybe totally love the song, Rihanna's song especially, but uh, maybe you don't really care about Rihanna's song, so you give it 4 out of 10, like, like that. So, uh, it's just like more interesting, let's communicate more through the comments as well, really love when you guys comment below in, the, in my videos, uh, it's really interesting to keep it that way. So, uh, what I thought is to make the list uh, of uh, the songs I've already heard this year in 2018, uh, for example, I've heard Bruno Mars' uh, Finesse remix. I didn't give a great, uh, like great, right? Uh, so we'll give a great to that. For example, it's six out of ten. Uh, in my opinion, that song 
uh, is good, but not that great enough uh, for my taste. Uh, I like the song, I listen to it sometimes, but like, I'm not totally jamming to it, or like, I'm not in love with the song. Uh, but I do love the fact that Bruno Mars and Cardi B collaborate with each other, and it's really dope. Uh, other songs, I will list them a little bit later because there is a lot of to discuss about first because uh, like there are um, this weekend a lot of uh, songs dropped and like I couldn't react to all of them uh, and I need to give out my opinions on some certain songs so let's start with the Troy Sivan Troy Sivan uh, popped in the music pop industry back in 2015 with his album Blue Neighborhood and it was a really uh, nice project um, for a lot of people but not me <laughs> honestly like I didn't not really care about that project honestly uh, even the singles like youth like I don't really have Troy Sivan song I like or I listen um, like after first listen like I didn't want to come back to it uh, the only song was good with uh, Alicia Carter, Wild, that was a good song, because <laughs> Alicia Carter is on it, you know, but other than that, really don't really care about Tracy Van, and unfortunately, um, this uh, single, My My My, new single he dropped, uh, probably he's coming with his new upcoming album, uh, I didn't care for that either, because like, oh, I was like, oh, okay, Tracy Van dropped a new track, let's uh, hop on it, let's see what it is, what is it about what is it like, but um, even like musically, by performance, by his performance, not really was digging what was going on uh, in the track, so uh, personally, like I will give it 3 out of 10, because I didn't really care uh, that much about this song and didn't really like it. Georgia Smith, Georgia Smith, Let Me Down, uh, that was a great song, uh, featuring Stormzy by the way. Uh, UK uh, people, where are you? Comment below, by the way. I know you're watching. <laughs> There's plenty of you guys, uh, and I'm really happy about the fact. Uh, Georgia Smith and Storms, they both from UK, from United Kingdom, uh, maybe England particularly. Um, so, love the track, nice track. Georgia Smith uh, was introduced to global world, <laughs> to, to world, um, like, by Drake. Uh, mostly, like, I feel like Georgia Smith is becoming more popular after the fact that she was in More Life, a uh, compilation by Drake. Uh, she Her performance was great on that track, Get It Together, one of my favorite tracks from More Life. And, uh, like, since then, I've been following Georgia Smith, uh, her music, uh, her releases, uh, single Tyrant with Kelly Ruchis was great as well. Uh, other songs was great, uh, were great, um, and this one... Uh, it is great as well. Let me down. Perfect ballad and so um, genuine, so true, so like nice, like so well uh, performed as well. Um, love her voice. She's incredible. Um, only thing like Stormzy's part was not really necessary in my opinion. Uh, like by herself, like sh that song would have been cool as well. Uh, I will give it a 7 out of 10, that was a good song, please guys check it out, if you haven't heard it, um, that's a great song, really. Other song, uh, Haley Stainfield with uh, capital letters, uh, Fifty Shades Free, another soundtrack um, to this movie, uh, I'm excited about this movie, but like, this time, like, usually Fifty Shades soundtracks were great. I really love them, and I even have a reaction video to that, like Fitz Shades Darker, in this same uh, shirt, I believe. Uh, that was a great video, in my opinion, like, I really enjoyed it, because I really enjoyed um, that soundtrack, it was really uh, having a great time. But this uh, song is like, Lamp Pain and Retorta for you wasn't that, eh, uh, skippable. This one uh, is better, this one is better. Uh, like this one is more interesting, more cinematic, has more um, you know Fifty Shades feel to it. Uh, but uh, again, like not really great. Like I don't see myself coming back and listening to this song. But uh, for the happy ending, like the song is pretty uplifting, positive. But for the happy ending song, uh, like it's pretty great. 
Um, so I would give it a five out of ten because uh, again, uh, like I like the movie and I like uh, Haley Steinfeld uh, as a performer uh, as well. She's dope. <laughs> Last song I want to mention uh, is Kelly Rich's "After the Storm" featuring Tyler the Creator and and Bootsy Collins. Bootsy Collins. So damn that song though, like. This song is, uh, as well as like Jordan Smith is great, uh, is fantastic. Uh, this one I like it even better uh, to be honest. Like uh, sexy, groovy, funky, a fantastic song. Really love this song. Uh, and when Tapper, the Creator, and Kylie, which is they come together, like it's like all of this magic is happening in the song. They're really um, doing a great job uh, when they are together. And this song, please check it out. The feel, it's so jazzy and so cool and so nice. I really love this song. It really uh, makes me happy when I listen to this. I honestly like uh, listen to this song immediately um, right after the first listen. Like I didn't get enough of it, you know. Like I really wanted to listen to it more. Uh, fantastic song. Uh, I will give it an eight out of ten. So there it is. Now we are ready to discuss uh, all uh, grading, uh, all songs, uh, what they are getting basically, what marks they are getting. So Bruno Mars, Finesse, featuring Cardi B, 6 out of 10. Liam Payne and Rita Ora for you, 3 out of 10. Uh, Season Kenji Lamar, All the Stars. I've been talking about this song. Uh, oh no, I actually did a reaction to this song. Uh, so this is in Kenji Kumar, All the Stars, I've been doing a reaction uh, to it and uh, I like the track, 6 out of 10. Justin Timberlake, Filthy, uh, I did a reaction but um, Copyright Strike uh, hit me, 6 out of 10 as well. A 6? Are you kidding me my man? A 6 on Justin Timberlake's new song, Filthy? No, 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 man. Even girls over there are surprised <laughs> by your decision. No, we want that 8 on Justin Timberlake's new song, Filthy. Strong 8. Also, Camila Cabello's uh, new album, Camila, uh, this man forgot to mention as well. Uh, also an 8 out of 10, because that was a great listen, great album, and hopefully you guys have seen my reaction to this, because I was jamming uh, into that album. Well. Black Eyed Peas, Street Living, 7 out of 10. Uh, Enrique Iglesias, El Baño, 5 out of 10. Uh, Eminem, Chloroseptic Remix, oh damn, that verse by Eminem was fire. Uh, 8 out of 10, that's what I'm giving to this song. Cali, which is out of the storm, 8 out of 10. Georgia Smith, Let Me Down, 7 out of 10. Uh, Dua Lipa, IDGAF, I've been reacting to this song uh, lately. Uh, haven't heard it before, uh, only heard it when the actual music video came out. Uh, 7 out of 10, uh, I thought it was a great song. Uh, Taylor Swift, Endgame, mm, 3 out of 10. Uh, Haley Steinfeld, Capital Letters, <laughs> 5 out of 10. And Troy Sivan, My My My, 3 out of 10 as well. So, yeah, uh, hopefully, you know, this. Uh, grading system like is you know gonna make our videos even better even more interesting to watch you know like to uh, like uh, talk about the music even more like for example Bob why did you give four out of ten to my girl Taylor Swift well not even a four I give it a three but you, you got the concept or like oh damn uh, thank you Bob for giving uh, 8 out of 10 <laughs> so like really for me as well to give out this grades it's like more interesting like becoming more interesting I feel like I feel myself like a professional music reactor music reviewer uh, although I'm not but <laughs> I'm getting there you know I like to progress and so like really it's it's interesting it's getting interesting like I have this uh, list so far, uh, you like see uh, songs in 2018 and like all the list here with all the greetings here. So and this list is gonna become uh, bigger and bigger. And at the end of the year, we're gonna see what song is gonna be. It's gonna get 10 out of 10. 
uh, which sounds like gonna be the best. Um, so yeah, let's see what's happen. What's gonna happen in at the end of 2018? Uh, let's make it really interesting. I'm really excited about 2018 as well as I said. Uh, this is gonna be our year. Uh, hopefully, like every. Everyone is going to do great, everyone is going to outdo themselves, uh, be better this time, like not going to procrastinate, focus on our goals, uh, get better in shape, uh, get that girlfriend, boyfriend, finally, like get everything uh, we want uh, in this life. So stay hyped about life, So and also stay tuned to this channel. Love you guys. Mwah. And I'll see you guys in the next ones. Don't forget to comment below. Uh, what do you think about this uh, news with Bob show? Пока, хайер, ауф видерзейн, аривидерчи, адиос, чао, чау, ауривар, парафис, аньон, goodbye.